Hey guys, Chris here with Phantom Buster. And in this video, we're gonna look at the Sales Navigator Search Export Phantom available on phantombuster.com, which will help us scrape and export the results of a Sales Navigator Search into a spreadsheet. All right, let's get started. All right, so to get started using this Phantom, we wanna head on over to phantombuster.com and click on Browse Phantoms. Next, I'm gonna to go to the search bar and type in Sales Navigator, and then I'm gonna look for Sales Navigator Search Export. If you click on the title, you'll be taken to the Phantom Overview page, where you'll get a full overview on exactly how to set up this Phantom and use it for your LinkedIn lead generation strategy. If you click on the Tutorial tab, you'll get a step-by-step -step summary of exactly how to set up this Phantom. All right, so now I'm gonna choose Use This Phantom. Now you should already have the Phantom Buster Chrome extension installed on your browser. So all you need to do is click Connect to LinkedIn, then click Save. Now here's where you tell the Phantom which searches you wanna scrape. You have a few options here. You can either use keywords, or you can use the URL of a single Sales Navigator search, or you can use the URL of a Google Sheet or CSV file containing a list of keywords or Sales Navigator search URLs. Just make sure that the CSV or Google Sheets are publicly accessible. Finally, there's some spreadsheet settings. So if you're using a spreadsheet as the input and it has multiple columns, you can tell the Phantom the column heading where your Sales Navigator search URLs are located. But for now, we're gonna go and use a single Sales Navigator search. So I've already set up a Sales Navigator search for companies from one to 10 employees in the marketing team with the current job title, Head of Growth and I wanna check my second degree and third degree connections and locate it in the San Francisco Bay Area. So I've gotten 157 results for this Sales Navigator search. So I'm gonna go up to the top URL, select all, right click and choose copy, and then head back to my Phantom and in the input section, I'm gonna right click and choose paste, then click save. Now here's where you tell the Phantom how to behave. Now keep in mind there's a limit to how much you can automate on LinkedIn. We recommend you process a maximum of one search or 2,500 results per day. This number may be increased depending on how warmed up your account is. And if you bypass this by too much, you'll have to update your session cookie more often. You should always spread out your actions across several launches spaced throughout the day during office hours where possible. So next, we want to tell the Phantom the number of results to scrape per search. So for this tutorial, I'm just going to do 50 results. Sales Navigator only displays the first 2,500 results of a people search or 1,000 of an account search. So to get more, you want to alter your search query and use multiple search URLs in a spreadsheet. Next, you want to tell the Phantom the number of results to scrape per launch. Again, if the Phantom does not scrape all the results in one search during a launch, it will pick up from where it left off in the next launch. And if you leave this empty, the Phantom will scrape 2,500 results by default. And again, for this tutorial, I'm just gonna use 50. Next, you wanna tell the Phantom the number of spreadsheet rows to process per launch. So this is obviously if you're using a spreadsheet as the input, which we're not here. But if you leave this empty, the Phantom will attempt to process all of your searches in one launch. Next, there's some advanced settings. So you have some options here. Remove duplicate profiles between different searches. You can turn on watcher mode, which will reprocess the same search URL during each launch to look for new results. And this only works with a single search as an input. You can also extract default LinkedIn profile URLs. You can export company accounts instead of leads, and you can use your second Sales Navigator team instead of the first. Finally, you can change the name of the result CSV file that gets output, and if you're using a spreadsheet with multiple columns, you can keep certain columns in the result.csv file that gets output. But for now, we're gonna keep things simple. I'll close this, I'll close the advanced settings, and I'll go ahead and click on save. Now here's where you choose your launch settings. So you can choose manually or repeatedly, and using the dropdown, we recommend that you 
run this during working hours, excluding weekends where possible. So you'll just wanna choose your repeated launch settings here. You can also choose advanced launch settings, or you can choose to run this every time another Phantom finishes or just run it once. But for now, I'm just gonna use this manually. And now you can choose your notification settings in case of an error, in case of success, or other advanced notification settings. For now, I'm gonna leave this as none. And then finally, under the advanced settings, you can use things like a proxy and other critical advanced settings and folder management settings. But for now, I'm gonna close this and go ahead and click on save. So this will take me to the Sales Navigator Search Export console page. Once I'm ready to launch my Phantom, all I need to do is click on launch. Depending on how many search URLs you're exporting, this may take some time. All right, so my Sales Navigator Search Export Phantom is finished running. If I wanna get a preview of all of the data that I've extracted, all I need to do is go to the result CSV file and click on the I Preview icon. This will show me all of the leads that I've extracted from the search URL. If I wanna download this, all I need to do is go to Download CSV and choose where I wanna save this on my hard drive. All right, so that was the Sales Navigator Search Export Phantom. To get started using this Phantom, be sure to head on over to phantombuster.com and create your account. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.